Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this course of Palo Alto Firewall Network Essentials. And today we are gonna start the module two and the topic would be management access. And as you can see, I have a diagram on my whiteboard, which is showing the, so the blue part is actually the, this one, right? So this is going to be your Palo Alto device box right and these are the interfaces and you can see there's a management interface which is the uh, onboard dedicated management interface which the Palo Alto devices have and there are other interfaces like one slash one one slash two three four and five right so we are going to talk about the management options that we have and with respect to pa uh, to the Palo Alto networks, the management options that they provide is either by using by the web interface one, and then you have the CLI. These are the two options that they provide you. Now, if you talk about the web interface itself, uh, so if you talk about the web interface, like let's keep this text here. Now let's talk about the web interfaces. So again, in, in the web interfaces, you will again have two options basically. Okay, so the first one would be your local, which is you can locally access the uh, management port. So whatever IP address you have configured on this management port, I can just um, try to erase this one if I can. Okay, I can just delete it. Uh, okay, I'll just delete this. So the first thing is it can be local, right? So local is, so this management IP address you have configured on the management port 192.168.1.1, it has by default got the uh, protocols, management protocols such as HTTPS and you are SSH enabled, so by default. So whenever you can, connect a client uh, uh, admin PC on that same network where the management uh, interface is connected. You can just directly HTTPS to that particular port and your local web GUI will be uh, accessible. That is one web interface that you can go. And the another one is centralized. Yeah, so you can have a manager, centrally located manager, which can, at the same time, configure multiple firewalls. And that manager is called Panorama in case of Palo Alto. So Palo Alto, uh, I mean, uh, recommends uh, to use Panorama if you have more than say, six plus firewalls. So that is the recommendation from Palo Alto. Yeah, which basically is, kind of justified because managing individual firewalls, going to them one by one and making changes becomes really cumbersome and hectic, right? So it's better to have a centralized uh, dashboard where you can configure all the changes and then you can push the changes to all the firewalls at the same time, makes the process much more easier. Yeah, so that is the recommendation because it reduces complexity and administrative overhead, right? And also aggregates data from all managers devices, managed devices. So it becomes a center point to check uh, and monitor uh, all your logs as well. Yeah, and and to t-shoot may, many of the problems from uh, from a central device. That is again, uh, I mean, I can say a plus point of using a Panorama as a centrally managed device. So that was the web interface, and then you have the CLI, you can use any any CLI, um, I mean, SSH tool and uh, just uh, SSH to your uh, Palo Alto device on the management port and and make uh, changes through CLI. But mostly uh, people don't uh, use uh, CLI as much as we use web GUI because, um, yeah, because it's hard to remember all the CLI commands as compared to just uh, navigating through the GUI. So that's uh, the catch there for using the web uh, GUI. Yeah, so let me just 
try to erase but i save this one uh let's keep it there right and next i want to talk about the management port as i said palo alto on all of their devices they have a separate management port given which um as in my previous video i've told that they have different planes uh, so they have a management plane a control plane and data plane so management plane is completely segregated so as you can see the management port and the uh, uh data port one slash two it's on the same subnet which is not by default possible in any other device uh, because um if you go to a router and configure uh, two interfaces with the same subnet it will not i mean uh it will not be possible so here because the data planes are uh, i mean the planes are um, already uh, segregated that's why it's possible and uh, you can see the client pc uh, you will be also connected to the data interface and will be also connected to the management interface and that's how we are going to go do the lab as well so we will be having uh, this kind of setup we will have the management and the data port of the palo alto in the same subnet and then the client which you see as a client a would be my host pc and then i can directly access the management port and also go via the data port which is one slash two to the access the internet which is one slash one which is the van port yeah and also you can have so we will be talking about the different uh, interface types and uh, let's keep this uh, uh, other part for the future so uh, that was what i said like special interface designated for administration which is your management port uh, part of the control plane pre-configured with oh uh, i just forgot this that this will be pre-configured with uh, an ip address of 192.168.1.1 when the box uh, comes uh, i mean as a fresh piece and this will be only in the uh the physical uh, devices not the vm because vm has dhcp enabled by default and uh, depends on on the dhcp address that you have set on your um, network so it will take an ip address from that uh, range itself the management uh, port yeah data ports also support management functions uh, and and that is not enabled by default but you can enable https for example you want to enable https on the outside one slash one so that people can access it from the internet you can do that or on the data port one slash two uh, so that any client from inside can just uh, come to that uh, 192.161.1 uh, and access this but you have to um, i mean enable the services on those interfaces we will see in the future uh videos yeah that those are called actually management profiles and uh, uh so i have uh i want to give you a, you a look into the web gui of the palo alto so i already have a vm set up here um, but i'll be showing you how to set up this uh, vm from scratch how to install this on the vmware workstation and how to, to actually set up the whole network right so that you have the connected but just to give you a glimpse of the gui i will just um share my screen where i have the um, palo alto already logged in so as you can see on my screen i have this device on 192.168.1.20 and the default username and password is basically admin admin so but i have just uh, changed that but we will see this in the future videos that uh, when i install the uh, new vm it will have the admin admin so I have logged into my web GUI of the Palo Alto and I want to show you a couple of things that um, just to give you a glimpse of the GUI, right? Uh, so this uh, is a notification which will come up, uh, uh, I mean, whenever you log in, unless you just click on this do not show again. So this is basically um, some of the updates that come from the Palo Alto. It will be uh, just display to you on the starting of the page. So this is the dashboard <clears throat> where I, where you can see the general information of the uh, of the device that you have. These are all called widgets, and you can um, uh, customize these widgets as well. So you can go here and you can just add particular uh, widgets, or you can just uh, I mean, if you go to thread logs, you can add those, or uh, or you can just delete them. And for example, I go and I. Uh, select the high availability which is um, 
for the not required, but just I'm showing you application top applications like this, top risk applications like this. So this is customizable and you can move those, um, I mean, these widgets uh, wherever you like. So for example, I want general information here and the system logs here. So this, the, this is giving you logs about the system and basically for the management mostly. Uh, so system logs, uh, like the admin has logged in from 1.4. So this is my PC and this is your, uh, man, uh, uh, the management uh, interface. Um, yeah, so this is the logs that it gives. And this is the uh, widget which shows you the system resources. So you can see the management CPU, data plane CPU separate and their uh, usage as well. And in the general information, you can see the device name, you can see the management IP address that you have configured. You have the mask, you have the management default gateway. This is very important because the management gateway uh, depends on the type of uh, policies that you have in your organization. Some organizations like to have the management um, uh, interface access to the internet um, and some people don't. So they, I mean, give the, uh, there's another thing which is called the service route. So you can configure the service route so that your uh, particular traffic, for example, updates or or some other um, the uh, Cortex data lake related uh, logging services should go through the data port, which is your outside man port. So that is um, that will uh, that I will also cover in this video uh, in the service uh, route configuration. So uh, next you can see the management IPv6 local link address. You have the MAC address and then you have the serial number, CPU, UID. So this is um, very important for, uh, for us to know uh, the serial number and the UID. Uh, basically, when you install a new VM, I think you don't get the uh, serial number. You will get the UID. This is required to uh, activate the license. As you can see, my license is VM 100. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I think this is expired right now. I'll just check. And this is the software version I'm using. So we'll be installing 10 dot version. This is 9.9, 1.9 and the global product agent version. This is nothing but the client based uh, VPN a solution from, uh, from Palo Alto. And this is the application version. So this is the app ID signature version that you have right now installed on your Palo Alto firewall. Uh, URL filtering, we don't have the license, so I don't, I cannot see the URL. And, and likewise, you have the global product client VPN versions and so on and so forth. And this is, uh, this widget shows you the administrators that have logged in. So for this one, I have only one user, which is the admin and I have logged in through the C CLI as well as through the GUI. So that's why it's showing like that. Uh, and you will see when I log in using uh, SSH uh, uh, application, you will see that I'll be added here as well with the username. Uh, so these are the config logs, what I did uh, until now, mm, and these are the locks, and this is the ACC, which is called the Application Command Center, uh, Control and Command Center. So here you can see all the logs uh, based on your network activity, active threat activity. But this is not uh, available on the unlicensed version, so you need to buy a license, uh, a, an eval license, if you have a customer support portal from Palo Alto. Then only you can get the eval license or else you have to uh, work on the uh, free version. So what I want to show you is the, um, basically the uh, service route. So let's go through the device and you can, you can see there are lots of um, information over here, right? So, um, I mean, if you go to the management here, you will see all the settings related to management. And uh, if you want to see the license, as you saw, um, so you can see this is Palo Alto um, free version, which ha which never expires. And I had a license on this, which has already expired in August, 2021. We can see as this is as red, right? And global product never expires and the free license logging services also still valid for maybe a year and less. Um, so that is what I, what I want to show you is basically in the setup and I want to go to the services. So I was talking about the service route. I will be showing you how to configure all these settings, but this is the service route configuration. By default, your Palo Alto uses management interface for all the, uh, I mean, 
communication related stuff. So this is by default, but if you want to customize, you can just click here and then you can see the services. So you have the panorama pushed updates, uh, updates service, you have the DNS. So DNS is also using your management by default. So in this case, if you're not having the uh, a local uh, private DNS server, you're using the external DNS server. So your management should have access to the internet or else you can just customize this DNS and uh, if you have a van connected, you can just specify the van and the IP will automatically pop up and click OK. Now the DNS services are going to use your external IP address or the external interface to be precise to reach to the internet and to, uh, I mean, uh, to actually use the DNS service, right? And also you can use all these LDAP, NTP, Panorama services, Palo Alto network services to fetch the updates. Uh, syslog servers so all these things right and if you have anything apart from this you can go here and add the destination this destination can be your fqdn or the ip address and then you specify the source interface from where you want to go and then the interface right so this is the customized service route configuration option that i was talking about hope you understood this right and